Well, hey guys, I am back and I, uh, this has got to be the tier two name brand from Monthly Knife Club because I'm pretty sure it is. That's why. Because I said so. Just because I said so. Sometimes you just got to take up because I said so. So I am going to get into this um, as I am doing that. Um, I will remind you guys that I always put a link to Monthly Knife Club in in case you want to check out all of the cool stuff that Monthly Knife Club has because I love Monthly Knife Club and I think you should love it too. I just think it's one of the best knife subscription places around and they have so much to choose for so go check it out. Um, yeah, I know I know that this is the tier two name brand because that's basically all we have left right so let's see what it is that we have and it's a beyond edc so another beyond edc i wonder i wonder if this is a different one than we had in the ultimate or a a new one so another beyond edc which we just got a, a really cool beyond edc in the ultimate uh, i wonder if it's the same one or if it's different this is the geo front flipper vg10 all right it's different uh vg10 the scales are either green green and tan this knife is featured green and tan g10 yeah so this is different so this is different so let's take a look at the specs here love that they put that on there so i can be lazy take a look at the cost of the subscription and then what you're going to find it for on the internet let's see i'm reading upside down 3.6 ounces 3.15 inch blade 7.6 overall okay sounds cool i love front flippers i know front flippers can take a little bit of getting used to if you're not familiar with them um, this is just warnings and stuff like that i have been messing with the one we got in the ultimate since i got it i haven't carried it around anywhere i haven't really gone anywhere but i've been in the house just you know messing with it and um enjoying it so Okay, I'm a total liar because I'm pretty sure we have seen this knife before. When I say I've never seen Beyond EDC, I'm pretty sure we have seen this knife before. Somewhere. Somewhere. And probably from Monthly Knife Club. Um, damn, now i got to go through all the videos and find out. All the videos, but... Um, G10 backspacer, not plastic. Nicely done two color G10 bolster area. And just a little bit of machining to give you a little bit of a grip. And reversible deep carry clip left or right, perfectly centered. There are some people who really do have trouble with front flippers. There's a couple different ways you could use a front flipper. Number one, you could use your thumb that way, or the way it's really intended is to get a good grip on the sides and use your forefinger and it snaps open like that. Um, I need to get a little paper towel or something because there's some oils and such on here. My God, simple green reminds me of basic training, holy shit. All right, so we've got some really nice grind lines going on there on each side. I'm not wild about the shape, got to be honest. It's, uh, it's fairly comfortable, but only because it's just, it's just skinny, so it fits your hand. Um, the blade shape there, uh, I guess, would be pretty good as a slicer, and oh, it's flat, not hollow, um, but... I just, I'm not crazy about the shape. So let's see. I mean, the blade is just super sharp, super good to go out of the package. Nice. Let's give it the old pull through and see how that does. And that was no effort at all. But this is another one where we're not going to be able to pew because you just can't get it in good contact. Can we slice? it will slice very sharp and very easily. So um, as an EDC blade, you're not gonna be able to get it in good contact with your surface unless your surface is kind of you know elevated, like the side of a table, I guess you could. It will, it will hit there. 
Um, but there, there are some advantages, I guess. I, I can't think what I was about to really, really say, but um, it is lightweight. I mean, I just, I, it looks a little too stylized for me, is what I'm saying. However, you've got a very fine point there for very precise work. There's no jimping. Why is there no jimping? Why is there ever no jimping? Um, but you can get yourself a really nice control of that fine point to do some very fine work with the point if need be. And so whether you are going to use the thumb or the oops or the forefinger front flip, it works pretty well. This also, not that I'm encouraging this or that I even have the skills, but it does have the grip and the shape for a reverse grip for those certain fighting styles. Uh, it actually fits pretty natural in the hand that way. It's not a bad knife. I mean, it's, it's from what I know from the last one I, you know, I opened, Beyond EDC does pretty good workmanship. Um, fit and finish all feels pretty good. Everything even on um, both sides. Everything set really nicely. And, you know, the two G10 pieces are just set perfectly. I mean, it's excellent. Um, balance is really nice, too. It's just this is not my particular style. Um, it's a nice collection piece. And, you know, like I say, some of the value is always, you know, resale, trade bait. Um, it's got it's got that kind of value in it. There's always going to be people that are going to find these kinds of shapes and these pieces really attractive or cool looking. Um, I just like more of a practical shape myself, but I could very easily see uh, quite a few people I know really into this shape and this design. So, yeah. So there is the tier two name brand from Monthly Knife Club. One of our very last unboxings for 2023. What do you guys think? I wanna know the two major camps. Who would absolutely carry this EDC? Um, and by EDC, I do mean who would have this in their pocket every day? And who would never ever carry this design? And why? I really wanna hear from you guys. Because I feel like this is the kind of design that would really polarize people. Nobody would just be like, eh, it's okay. Oh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. You know, like I feel like you would either really love this design or really not like it. Um, but it is a good quality piece. I can tell from the workmanship and the materials and everything. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. And please remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. And I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.